Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan live from Mullingar in Mullingar in association with uh, Jer's Pyro Works, and they are a great facility here in Mullingar. And if you want something unusually made, go to his Facebook page, Jer's Pyro Works. Today is Wednesday, the 31st of August, and tomorrow will be the 1st of September. We are getting ready for September because you can feel it in the air, but it's not exactly September yet. But it's important to get into your mind first, and then when September comes, you are in September. That is my rant for today, folks. The sun is after just going up. We're down in the harbour here, and I'm here with a few different people from Mullingar Tidy Towns because Pride of Place is on its way on the 9th of September, coming to you live from the streets of Mullingar. Now I'm here with PJ, and PJ is going to have a quick chat with us. Come in here, PJ, and we'll have you on our cameras. Happy now, as you can see, PJ is one tall man, so we're going to have to put that camera up good and high because he's at least, he's as big as all the trees here. PJ, how's it going? Not too bad to turn away yourself. Uh, brilliant. It's good great time. to have you on board and we're having the Thank crack you. here in the harbour. Yes. PJ, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I suppose, if I, if I go back to the full history, Go back to the beginning of time. When, when, I, when I started in 1970. With forestry, brilliant, and I worked in forestry up to 2018, so uh, 43 years I think that adds up to of forestry experience. And since that, I have actually moved on, and I'm actually now uh, giving a hand to Cron, uh, which promotes the growing of trees, mainly native trees, but more importantly, the right tree in the right place. Brilliant. Now you're doing a little bit of work with uh, Mullingar Tidy Towns as well, exactly. giving them a little bit of direction. Exactly, yes, I, because I think it was fear is important for the town mm -hmm. to actually take on board the planting of trees and uh, Tidy Towns has taken it on board without a doubt and we're starting to plant some trees around the town because of the significance and the impact that a tree can have on the whole landscape and the outlook around the town and all the rest of it. Tell us, the big oak tree right behind us, you were saying earlier on, how What's going on in the big oak tree there now? Oh, any of them trees? Just give us a little, a little. I, 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 I suppose the, the the best snippet of information to remember of a big tree. Yeah. Uh, any of them big old trees is that um, they are producing enough oxygen to service a family of four people for twelve months. Amazing. And that's only one part of what the tree is doing. There is a world of other activity going on from the roots right up to the canopy. It's given shelter for the whole wildlife. Biodiversity, we're talking, is a big discussion at the moment. Actually, under the tree, where the people go last week or the week before when the sun was shining, <laughs> only into the shade. The temperature is a lot lower under the shade of the tree. It is actually of immense value in industrial areas where they're actually trying to suck in air from the outside in, in their, um, what do you call the, the air conditioning. Right. In the, the air, the air is already cooler under the tree than right. in the general atmosphere, and from that point of view, it is a saving on and brings in the cooler air, which is what you want in the building, and that type of thing. And it cools, and the impact of, I suppose, there's a phrase that uh, goes with morning yard tar and cement absorbs <laughs> the, the whole um, heat and that type of stuff, and it, it reflects it back later on in the day. But if you have trees around that have that absorb the sun as it's coming down into the leaves and one thing or another, reduces the heat content at the ground level and the whole roots can get onto their activity of producing, sharing food and all that type of stuff. How do they share food? Like, how does that work? If a tree is in bad shape, does the other tree say, Jeez, I'll send you over a bit of grub there and that'll sort you out? Ah, well, it's a whole mycorrhizal system underground. Mm -hmm. It's like the internet, long before the internet had developed, mm -hmm. of uh, connection between between trees and roots of trees and all the rest of it. Now, okay, trees come to a certain stage of life, but they just move on, they get on, mm. they, they go past, uh, past their best days of performing and that type of thing, and decay can come into them and all the rest of it. But don't be shocked by that because that's given life to, and shelter to all the insects, birds, bees, and all the rest of it. Now, Pride of Place is coming here to Mullingar yeah. on the 9th, folks, the 9th of uh, September. That's which right. as we we're just saying tomorrow's going to be the first september and then there's nine more days and if you want to do something in your area contact um mullingar tidy towns and might be able to help you in some shape or form what exactly are you doing with tidy towns yourself or what what guidance are you um guiding them where are, are, did you put in any trees yet they have put in trees in different estates around the town without a doubt and mm. that type of thing and the key thing in relation to the towns is um to identify the right tree in the right place because that's very significant in relation to the impact that we'll have on the whole locality. 
and look at the tree itself can enhance the whole value of the place the beauty of the place exactly watch yeah. in the next few weeks how the yeah. leaves will change and yeah. people will be in awe of the colour that that's right so it's cheap. a lovely time of the year oh, and everyone goes fantastic September yeah. is my favourite time because everyone changes that colour yeah. and even up in Leitrim yes. especially across Leitrim when you travel up that area it's like nowhere else on earth because right. the colours oh. are and all the ditches and all the trees are sort of just change into that different sort of uh, and, and, copper colour like and that. again to refer back to some old songs like there's 40 shades of green <laughs> that's Johnny Cash. You know Johnny Cash wrote that song? Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah hey. And when he was on tour in Ireland and he went all around these places and he put in all them names and that's and and even when I as a kid uh, saying the Americans used to come down to Killarney when we were down there ourselves and you meet the Americans saying, Oh my god, it's so green. But yeah. when you go away and you come back to Ireland and you look oh, out of the yes. airplane and by God them forty shades are down there. I'm telling you they are. How yeah. blessed we are. Oh, we are and yeah. how blessed we are here in Mullingar with such a great facility as well. well I mean we right. had the fly here last a oh. few weeks ago and it, as you said it's like a, a sleeping giant That's Mullingar. Right. Mullingar it's, is sleeping I often refer to Mullingar as the sleeping giant. It doesn't realise the wealth of amenities it has and all the goodness that's about it and even the people that's in it and the communities and all that type of stuff it's of immense strength and it's just an asset that it isn't fully tapped into I Not feel myself no. but I think if it does wake up it's, uh, it's going to be busy it's going to be one busy spot and one leading spot one thing that comes into my mind uh, do you go to schools now and speak at schools um, not too much now, but uh, yeah. like uh, since the giant crown, I would have been hoping to go to some of the schools. Mm -hmm. We have actually went out to Kalukan School there last, mm -hmm. last year, all right, yeah, and then um, we spoke to them, all right, and they, uh, they absorbed, I think, very well what we were saying. And I think you're right, schools is the place to get to capture this and to promote actually the value of the trees and the whole landscape and uh, nurture that uh, kind of. Because there is a hunger on people and the, there is that, I, I, I haven't the right word for it, but mm. there is some hunger on the people to actually promote uh, the nature. Mm. And nature, if it gets any bit of a hand at all, it is one fantastic thing. It will recover from anything itself. It's great power within nature if it's given half a chance. Now, I hate to stop you because we call this show the 12 bombs, right? Oh, it's okay. And you're after, you're just in the right time. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, four bongs. I'm going to give you four bongs and then Mr. Boyle will come in yeah. and he will give us four bongs then. So I'm going to start off with four. Four trees is 12. Is that correct, Mr. Boyle? Correct. Thanks, sir. Our school teacher. Oh, okay. So, Bong, 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 bong. PJ, give us four of your best bongs for the people. For, for the people of Munningar. All, well, all over the world. All over the world. Well, look, at Munningar has a lot to offer and uh, uh, fantastic assets around it for people to come and enjoy and for even the people living in it. I think the people that's living in it don't realise the full extent. No, you're going to give me four bongs. Oh, four bongs. Yeah, yeah, please, four of your best bongs. No, the town has... No, no, bongs. Bong, 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 one, bong, two, bong, three, bong, four. PJ, what's your full name? Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, that's PJ Fitzpatrick. If you see this man in town, say hello to him because you know what? He could chat all day and maybe bring him for a coffee. Okay. PJ, thank you for saying hello thank to you. us and no giving us your time. Well. Now, Mr. Welcome. Mr. You. Boyle is next <laughs> on board. We need, he's been training. Thank you, PJ. Okay. We've been training for the last, oh, yes, he's a taller man, but a, 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 a pocket rocket, ladies and gentlemen. Could you give me four of your best bongs, Mr. Boyle? Bong. One. Bong. Bong. Two. Bong. Three. Bound. <laughs> Legendary. Legendary. 80, years. 80 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Boyd. We've known each other since I was this height. And then I became this height. And then I'm now this height. But we're at this height now. Uh, tell us, you're involved with the Mullingar I Tidy am, Towns, I Mr. Am Boyd. With them, yes. What is uh, your position? Uh, uh, to the fishing. To the fishing, I've yes. I've taking uh, youngsters out. There's a uh, John Ball Jr. Yeah. Uh, uh, looks after youngsters up at the military barracks. Right. There's 12 of them there, 10 of them there. Okay. And we started off last year. Yeah. And uh, they were looking for somebody to teach these youngsters to fish. Right. So as most people know, Mullingar, fishing is my passion and always has been for a long, long time. Correct and right. And I, I took on board these youngsters last year. And I suppose it was the best few weeks that I've had with youngsters for a lifetime. 
Go on. Uh, yeah, I worked with children before, as you know. I worked in Romania with, with kids in Romania. I worked out in Romania from some, some 1991, just after the revolution. And I go every year, but unfortunately, with the COVID, I couldn't go for the last three years. So I took this on board, and it's been a huge success. And the youngsters got a lot out of it. Um, and we're going to do it again this year. No, you'll have a whole new group then, will you? Uh, no, we'll have, probably have the same group. Answer that phone. Answer the phone. Say hello to them there. Yes, Mr. Trump, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you back. <laughs> I get my secretary to give you a buzz. <laughs> Fair play, and thanks for taking the time now, just to say, Mr. Trump, sorry, sir, but we have Mr. Boyle. We're down the harbour here, and we're promoting what's good and great about our town and place and people. But tell us, the fishing, the fishing is a big thing in it's your life. It's excellent. Uh, for Where's my the best work, fishing in Mullingar? Where we're standing here. Really? When I was a kid, about 10 years ago, there was a, there was a mushroom farm in there, just right in there. Right across there, a mushroom farm. owned by Monaghan's, and yeah. they had a they had a hotel up the way here in the fair green for pennies is, and I used to come down here as a kid and I used to fish here, and then after school I'd pick mushrooms for a penny a basket, <laughs> and it was great fun. I enjoyed it all. I'm one of twelve. Right. Yeah, there was, there was eleven more like me. On <laughs> But, there was no television in your house. No TV, and it's no. There was, there was, yeah, yeah. There was a TV, yeah, but it was in. The, I used to look at it in the window, the Callahan's, Paddy Callahan's window. <laughs> now going back to all them years around the canal here. So this was a great spot this to was catch. a great spot. Pike yeah. perch, pike perch, rudd roach, yeah. bream, you know. And then of course you had the lakes around. You had the Goola kind of, mm -hmm. uh, around the place, and I fished there. Fishing has kept me going throughout my years uh, very unwell for a long time but fishing took me out of myself and i love it to this day as, as much as i did the first day i fished now the kids here you were doing and fair play the the kids that you were showing how to fish on the canal what were you teaching them like... i was teaching them how to set up a fishing rod right i was teaching them how to put a hook on how to put the bait on mm -hmm. and how to catch fish and we caught fish now, what were you showing them in the canal? Like, did you put it? Did you put the? Did you have the tree hook out? No, no, no. The old tree them hook. Across oh, the tree no, hook, the old tree hook. The old tree hook was the gaff, and so we did for years. <laughs> when we were kids, we done that with a big lump of silver paper on us, all we'd be able to see it <laughs> and give them a snip under the head. But no, no. See, it's very modern now. Fishing is all. You've got all these lovely fishing rods now mm. that, and they're cheap enough. Mm -hmm. You know. The first fishing rod I had, I was just telling somebody this morning, I bought it down in Dunahoo's, the gun shop in Mount Street, for oh. one shilling and three pence. Wow. Back, that would have been back in 1953. I was 11 years of age at the time. Did you get all the money from picking the mushrooms? To no, buy the I, yes, rod? I did. And I used to put, I had a penny stamp. I'd buy a penny stamp every week and I'd put it onto a little card. Right. And when I got to a shilling, I'd put it into my post office book. And that's the way i done it. Good man. Yeah, and that's the way it was. And so, the, the young lads now, you're teaching them here in the canal, you're teaching them, so if you're going, if these lads, the new group now are coming along, what are you going to teach them and how are you going to teach them? I teach them exactly. Some of these kids have never fished in their lives before. Go on. No, they've never fished. Right. And I teach them, first of all, I teach them how to behave. In a public place on the canal. Excellent. You have people, public walking up and down the canal. Yeah. I teach them to be good to each other. Yeah. To be good to each other. There's a crowd of kids across the way now, isn't that fantastic? It brings me back to my own school days. There you are. We, we didn't have all of that stuff. We didn't have all that stuff didn't at have all. all of that stuff. I walked to school. Now they go by taxi. <laughs> but in any case, that's neither here nor there. But I teach the kids how to treat each other with respect. It's very important. And first and foremost, respect themselves. Yeah. And if you don't respect yourself, you can't respect other people. Correct and right. I learned that I was brought up by two of the best parents ever put on this earth. And you know. so that's one of the most important things. And then you try and get them to catch trout, fish. So catch well, no, no catch road and roach, perch yeah. and that. And they've all caught. Most of them have caught last year. It was just that the last year, year was a bad year. Mm -hmm. We didn't start at all this year because of with the slack hole was on in right. Moringar. Of course, I remember the other two that was here back 
all those years back. One memory of the first, second flat call. Second flat call, 1963. Yeah. I was home on my honeymoon with my new wife. Wow. In 1963. Good when man. She, I want to see if she got the 42 or so for 221s, but then anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that was your memories that and was my what memory. was it like arriving it into was, town with your bride under the arm? Right under my arm, yeah. Heading into the morning and I was coming in, I was, man, I was king of the road. King of the road, definitely. King of the road. Looking suave. You so, used to sing a few songs, just yes, you know yourself. Did you? Oh, Lord, just you know yourself. Yeah. Ah, sure, listen, you know, you know yourself, it's like, you know. <laughs> well, Nodger, look, thanks a million for saying hello to us. <laughs> That's great to see you, Ray. If you see this man around town, folks, as I said, he's yeah, a legend. Yeah, run as fast as you can. <laughs> He'll always have a word for you. He'll so. always have a word. You know the nicest thing you can do for any human being? What's that, Nodger? Good morning and how are you today? Simple. Good morning and how are you today? Bang! There you are, folks, Bang. the Nodger boil on Bang. board. Thank you, sir. <laughs> legend, legend. Now we have another ladies after arriving on the scene. Anne-Marie is here. Where is Anne-Marie? I'm here. She's here. She, there she Hi, is, babe. all in pink, looking magnificent. <laughs> Anne-Marie, what is the story? The story is we're off on the road again. You're steps. going on a little bit of a walk, are you? We're going on the steps again. Show me this, this here time, now with your friends. This time is for um, friends of mine who are open a community cafe for the elderly and everybody in general in Freshford. In County Kilkenny. Freshford. You yes. went a fair bit on your little trip. And that's my uh, sponsorship. And you card. have a sponsorship card yeah, there as well. Yeah. And yeah. if anyone wants to sponsor you here in Mullingar. Oh, of course, um, by all means. And if you want to sponsor in as well as that in Freshford in County Kilkenny. Why Kilkenny? What is the connection? I have lots of friends down there and I just kept across them working on the project. Right. And it's all voluntary electrical, woodwork counters everything brilliant it's been done voluntary and uh, just chatting them and talking in general about different things and they had a fundraiser and i did um, the lyrics for quiz for them and uh, so i decided i do i love the walking uh, the last time we were speaking you done a walk what was I'd, the walk for the last uh, time the last time i done the 300 300,000 steps right. was for Cancer Research for LAR. Very good, here in Mullingar. Here in Mullingar, yeah, it was a great success, thanks to you. Oh, thank and you, everybody we've done a bit, you. everyone you done did, their bit. Uh, great publicity. Brilliant. Uh, so the yeah. next plan then, as I say, is you're going, is this the same amount tomorrow. of steps you're going to do? Yeah, same amount of steps starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, and uh, so where are you going to start walking? What's the plan? I will be heading to Freshford this evening and start You're going to walk walking. to Freshford? No, <laughs> I'll drive down. And then I will start walking tomorrow morning. So you're going to do all the steps around Freshford? Around Freshford. Right. And how are we going to know that you've done them? Oh, you'll know. Are you going to I'll have put them? Up, I'll put them up every evening. On your Facebook page? On page, yeah. Look at There's a whole other pile of love coming in there for you, Anne-Marie. So if anyone wants to help you out, how are oh. you going to do that? How are you going to course, contact well, you? Well, you can have my contact number. Yeah. Which is 87 Yeah. Six four zero zero eight five two. Brilliant, and uh, that's the best way of contacting you. Yes, and uh, I'll, I'll be keeping in touch with you to let, us know, let you know how it's going. Brilliant. And hopefully we'll have you on the night. Happy the days. Open. Excellent. Well, we can't wait for that. Look, Anne-Marie, thanks for coming down and sharing that with us. Don't forget, she's on a big walk once again. 300,000 steps. How long is 300,000 steps? Eh, 30 miles. Out the last time, uh, between 25 and 30. Brilliant. Are you feeling fit? Feeling great. You're, are you not going to wear them I shoes? Haven't the, I haven't got the boots on. I had the last. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't wear them either. So you don't bother oh, walking. I'd like to say hello to everybody in Freshford and to thank them for taking me on board for to join in in this great project that they're doing for the community and the elderly, which is very important. And they're going to do di various different things as they have the facility there. They'll probably run nights so of maybe a, a small bingo or quizzes or different things so you, people that wouldn't be able to get about much themselves will be able to get out and participate now this and center is going to be whereabouts in fresh it's going to be a loop it's called the loop cafe okay and it's in bang in fresh itself. and uh, is it close to any pubs oh yeah oh yeah ray, ray, you only go down pubs and you don't even drink <laughs> 
Yes, of course. Yes. Oh, please God, we'll have the um, after openers. Um, the, the night will be in um, Cavanaugh's Bar in Freshford. Excellent. Well, look, thank so you very much people. for taking time to come down and chat to us. Thank you very much. I Fred, love the purple. It. It's pink. not purple, it's pink. pink. It's a beautiful pink dress as well that she's wearing on a beautiful day here in Mullingar yes, and good. bringing plenty of light to us all here, folks. So once again, Anne-Marie, thank you. Thank you very much, Ray. Thanks for having the time. Brilliant. Bye. There you are, Bye. folks. That's Anne-Marie. And uh, she took time out of her busy schedule to join us here at the harbour. And uh, when, we're, when we're chatting to her earlier on, I says, we'll meet you down the harbour. And she says, where will I meet you? I says, we'll meet you at uh, Cross the Way. And it's called Paradise, and it's sort of that was a great meeting place years and years ago. Now we have John here as well, and maybe John will give us a few words. Maybe he's not ready yet. Maybe he wants to do another show, maybe another Wednesday or something like that. So uh, this is the bus here in the background. If you see the bus around, the phone number is on it. The sponsorship on it. You have there's the phone number. If you're looking for Bill Collentine, uh, that's his phone number, and uh, he's very much involved with Tidy Towns here in Mullingar. So. The rest of our show we better continue as well because we've got loads of information here because today is 20 it's the 31st of august show is coming to you in association with jerry's pyrowalks we got the 12 bongs in we have birthday shout outs because brian flynn in county clare and he's with clare fm he's a presenter it's a happy birthday to you and caroline greville in kinnegad happy birthday to you we've liam ray and he's in drogheda happy birthday to you and karen uh, Dunnigan, hello, she's in Kinnegad, happy birthday to you. Carol Cooley is in Dublin, happy birthday to you. And Mon, Mon, J U Q U, Mon Juik, uh, happy birthday to you. We have Olivia Duffy in Mullingar, happy birthday to you. And Pauline McEnany, happy birthday to you. Michael Doherty, originally from Mullingar, now living in North Carolina, which is that away, happy birthday to you. And Lily Garrett in Cross Malina, happy birthday to you. Bree. Dean Cole and uh, we're chatting to her on Sunday and uh, we're chatting to her in the Park Hotel and she came down to say hello to us so a big happy birthday to you Breed Jean and uh, I keep getting it wrong it's B-R-E-E-D-E-E-N Breed Dean unusual name but a lovely person uh, DeVille happy birthday to you and she's in Galway and Mick MacDonald JR he's in Multifarnham happy birthday to you don't forget today that we have Midlands Music Market uh, the only music industry car boot sale on today and it's in American Green Barn and that is on the way to Kilbegan. It's on the left hand side as you see the race course on the right hand side it's on the left and it's on from 5 o'clock today till 9 o'clock tonight. Delvin are going to have the tractor run on the 11th of September if you want to go out there head out at half 10 that morning head to the Delvin Mart and uh, all classic cars and all vintage cars are welcome. Uh, go to the Facebook page of Delvin Vintage Club and uh, get some more information there. Now Mullingar Camera Club have an open event on. We were down at last night. It starts on the 30th which is last night and finishes on the 9th of September. It is in the atrium. It's their annual exhibition 2022 and some magnificent photographs down there. Uh, definitely worth going down and having a, a, a quick, quick look if you have the time. Collins Town Farmers Market is on Sunday, yes, uh, September the 4th. It starts at 11.30 and finishes at 1.00. Uh, jobs, Mullingar, yes, we have jobs here from Mullingar in Mullingar. On our channel today, we have Mullingar Pewter are hiring. We have Midland Tires are looking for an administrator and Mr. Chef is looking for some counter staff. Ring 086 A uh, Big shout out to Liam and Maria Kitt and they are up in KFM Radio in Kildare. So happy anniversary, 47 years married. Don't forget the Ken Smullen Food Appeal is always never stops and if you want to get involved there go to Ken Smullen's Food Appeal Facebook page. If your computer is broken go to Create It in Castle Street. Create IT and they are a great company here in Mullingar and we recommend them the whole time and as well as that if you're looking to get your clothes head to uh, where is it? Where is it? We have um, our good friends in Mullingar Harbour Place Shopping Centre and that's Rapture for Men. If you go in there and you shout Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar, you get 10% off. To all our friends looking in, thank you very much for being with us. We're coming to you live from the harbour here in Mullingar and uh, having a great bit of crack with all our friends. If you'd like to join us on the show, all you do is send us a message and uh, 
you're very welcome on board. We'll send you a message back and we'll meet in us wherever you want to meet. If you want us to promote your business, we can do that as well. My name is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar, from almost good and great about our town, our people and our business and our canals. And from all our crew looking in here, loitering in the background. Bye for now.